Pisces, happy motherfucking November. How's everybody doing? Welcome to your uh, your monthly reading. This is for November 2020 or whenever you find these. Uh, remember to check your moon and rising sign videos because those can give you additional perspectives. <clears throat> Please hit that like button and the subscribe button. Uh, helps my channel grow. If something resonates, Please comment. Um, these are all things that help my channel grow. You wouldn't think that a comment would help, but it does. It's like um, a magnet. And so whenever you leave a comment, it kind of puts out a magnet. It kind of makes, uh, I don't know how to explain it. The technology, it draws more people in the more comments they're in. there are. It's helpful. So, you know, you don't have to, but if something resonates, that's super helpful, even just for me as a reader, because I'm like, okay, I'm on the right track. Um... I do additional readings on my Instagram page at grateful underscore Drake every Tuesdays and Fridays. And that's the same place where you can schedule a booking. Uh, just DM me, message me for those. And what else was I going to say? I think that's about it. Let's get into your motherfucking reading. These readings today are, I, I got a cool little structure. So we're going to, this is going to be love, life, and career. Love, life, and career. So let's get started, Pisces. I hope you guys are doing well. Juicy. So for love, uh, the themes we're looking at for the month of November for you Pisces is the Fool. Okay, so the Fool is the path of childlike faith. He ta he's taking a leap of faith off the edge of this cliff. cliff. Okay, he's at the beginning. He's the very first card of the majors. He's a number zero. So he hasn't quite yet started, but he's contemplating. Look, he, he's more than contemplating. He's about to jump off this cliff, okay? About to go find himself a new love. So there's some new phase that you're entering into um, Pisces for the month of November. This is a juicy card. It's a little bit scary though, huh? Maybe new starts or new starts within your current relationship. New phases, new cycles within your current relationship. New themes coming up for you guys. Uh, the, the shadow side of the fool is that he can be really careless. So that would be my only warning about this card is whenever we are searching for new love or entering into new phases in our current relationships, just be mindful. Like, don't rush, you know, just take your time to feel it out, to kind of see see what's right, what feel, what feels right, okay? Okay, one last shuffle for Pisces. Hmm. Ooh, ear, itch. Ooh. Oh, sorry. Wow, that card has come up a few times today. There was some kind of coming together or social gathering celebration that was supposed to have happened, maybe at a party, uh, maybe just within your relationship, within your commitment. Um, so here we have the Four of Wands with the Three of Cups. Four of Wands is reversed. So we're looking at um, a pause, a U-turn, a stop, an ending, um, a wait a minute, 
hold up there when we see this reverse four of wands, okay? Then we have this, this like celebratory energy here. So it feels like something was supposed to be exciting. We were supposed to be celebrating, but dun, 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 this motherfucker dun, came in and just ruined the whole shit. Okay, so something sneaky is happening here. Hmm, I'm wondering if family members were butting into your business a little bit. Interesting. There may have been people, um, or there may be a situation here within your love life that's kind of been nitpicked. It's funny, I don't normally feel this when I see this combination of cards, but that's how I feel. You get the energy, somebody prying, somebody like enjoying the cake, enjoying a little bit the drama, trying to steer the ship trying to get things in their direction it's an interesting um remember in love and relationships when you're dealing with other people in general we don't just look at the facts we don't just get the facts like i'm just i can't like don't you can only tell me so much about your opinion, about what you think before. I'm like, that's enough. I need to leave. I need to get quiet and I need to check in with myself about how do I feel about this situation? What did this person do? How does it make me feel? Okay. I've seen enough. How does it make me feel? The high priestess here shows up. It's a fourth card second to last card comes reversed so we're not paying attention to our intuition somebody may have done something and there may have been family members this might be the same story or it's a separate separate person separate story there's somebody somebody didn't do us right and or there's somebody in a family member that's like really getting off on like gossiping spreading rumors bullshit bullshit okay being sneaky, sneaky deaky. Maybe even kind of stirring the pot. Maybe there are some real issues happening at the core of this, but they're stirring the pot. It's like unnecessary. It's not even their place to stir the pot there. Maybe these are concerns, va valid concerns, but this person just doesn't feel right in their mind um, as to why they're even like putting their nose there. The last card you guys got is the chariot. Pisces is the chariot. Um, and it's reversed, okay? So not going anywhere. Somebody's not going anywhere. A halt. An end to those plans. Something of that nature. All right, so we're getting down to the bottom of it, okay? I feel like you're going to figure it out. Look, uh, public recognition, this person may even be called out for, you know, what they've been saying or how they've been stirring the pots because we are um, pretty grounded in who we are. We understand. Thumbnail. We, we, <laughs> Sorry. You know, we're trying to, this is Nine of Pentacles is like just very secure in who you are. You know who you are and what's right. Eight of Wands is like swift. This is, you get wands and wands kind of hugging this Pentacle woman, showing swiftness, action, nipping this in the bud, getting stuff done in regards to this love relationship. But I, I, I just feel like a relationship between a man and a woman. And then I feel like a, a cousin or an aunt just being like really fucking prying. Just nosy as fuck. That's how I feel. And maybe this fool is coming out to show the carelessness that's being done. an angel card for love well this was a strange love reading 
if it's not like a prying family member, it's 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 just showing sneaky energy and not heeding your intuition. Okay, and there being a, a, a halt to the direction of your life because of this. Okay, your angel, ooh, Metatron. Oh, it's not Metatron. Yes, I love this shape though. Um, spiritual understanding, Archangel Raziel. I'm bringing you esoteric information and symbols, so pay attention to signs and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. Wow, that's powerful, helping you to understand spiritual truths. Okay, so there's an aspect to your relationship, to your love life, to this part of the spread where something isn't uh, being perceived appropriately. It's not being uh, looked at right. The perspective is skewed taking your peace of mind seven of swords is either a sneaky person or just your lack of um, peace of mind because of what's going on around you okay life Whew. these are tough cards today guys so for your life theme we got the devil all right Devil deals with addictions, Pisces, okay? It's also the sign of Capricorn. The devil talks about those shadow sides of ourself that we'd rather not pay attention to. We'd rather not deal with them. The devil is energy that we'd rather keep hidden. So if it's not addiction, like literal addiction, these are shadow sides, things we just kind of like have been postponing to deal with things we probably wouldn't tell other people about, you know, things we want to keep a secret. There are also, it talks about secrets. So a lot of feeling trapped and stuck energy. Eight of swords is the center card. Nine of Wands was the last card. So we're looking at these systems in place that make us feel trapped. I'm wondering even if we're dealing with like being locked up, going to jail, looking at prison time, prison sentence, things, things like that. Okay, so this is feeling incredibly, uh, I can't move. I can't move. I feel stuck. I feel trapped in this, in this cycle, this cycle, okay? This is heavy energy. Um, the themes of our life to, for the month of November are, are turning our, our family systems upside down. This is generational wealth and abundance, but it's completely turned upside down. Okay, so nothing can move while we're stuck in these areas of our life. Five of swords, more swords. Okay, look at this sneaky fucker. Excuse my language. I cuss all the time. He's just sneaky as F. As F. AF. Sneaky AF. Everything's just going to blend in together. You know, it'll all come out somehow. Winning at the expense of others. Winning and still being like, ha ha. Like being happy about winning while everybody else is losing around you. Okay. After the Eight of Swords, which is the center card, you guys get the Emperor. So the Emperor is the husband and the father of the deck. So either you are you are the husband, you're the father, you're dealing with your husband, your father, and addictive qualities. Or the Emperor, which is a card of Aries, comes in to bring order and structure and discipline. Okay, so if we're all over the fucking place, we're having trouble getting our shit together... We're not asking for help, okay? The, he comes in to be like, look, you need to do this, this, and that. You need to get some help. You need to call somebody. You need to go to some meetings uh, or whatever it is. You need, And if it's something like that can be dealt with within the home, it's like call a friend, go to therapy. You know what I'm saying? Um, I guess it's not really in the home. Well, Zoom meetings in home. You know, things that we can work through spiritually, through journaling, meditation, visualization, prayer. 
Um, but there's something here that's being brought up to be healed. Okay. And you feel very guarded and protected, protective of this thing. It's almost like you're protecting your enemy. Okay. It's no longer useful to hold on to this. It's not, it's not useful. It's not helping. I'm going to go off the cuff here a little bit here, guys, because this, I feel called to do so. My for Pisces, please. Didn't use this deck with anybody else so far. My for Pisces, please. Time to go there. Time to do it. Time to go there. The riddle. Let me pull the book. There's something to be discovered, to be figured out, to finally do, to finally get. Really, girlfriend? Well, yep, sorry. It happens. The puzzle, the question, the mystery. When light, a great awakening or aha moment. When dark, manipulation, deceit, trickery. So the devil can also represent lies. You know, it's anything that like is not comfortable. When the riddle is present, one must stop searching for the right answer. It cannot be found and ultimately it is not important. Rather, there must be a shift from the literal to the metaphorical and that's what tarot is that's what the cards are is to help us step into a new perspective so we can see it from over here because us doing it and being in it is no longer we're like fuck i'm all up in it i can't see it so the cards help us oh i see okay from logic to mythic get out of your head that's all these swords in your head addictions in our head and yeah, in our body too right <sighs> you are thinking too small and literally about the situation the riddle card appears when the energy is deep and mysterious like the elusive wisdom in a zen cone focusing harder won't do it right neither will increased effort time surrender letting go and humor are all are your only allies. Yes, I love humor. What feels like the most pressing dilemma won't reveal its deeper wisdom for a long time. Eventually, you'll learn a profound lesson from the riddle. For now, get comfortable with the limitations of your intellect and the reality of not knowing. It may, in fact, be the only reality there is not knowing. But once we can get comfortable with the fact that we just may not know the roots or, or why or what, then we're free to move on. All right, y'all, let's look at career, Pisces. Y'all doing some work. Y'all working. And I'm talking about spiritually because that was deep. That was deep. So there's some oppor Ooh, you guys so I, I use different decks for your themes and you got the hangman twice. Whoa. Pretty dope. So what this tells me is that um <clears throat> this is the real. This is the not knowing. This is getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. This is Patience, not waiting. This is seeing from different perspectives. He's hanging up from a tree by his foot. He's uncomfortable, but he can see better because he's no longer down on the ground in the inner workings of his own life. He's out of his life. They took him out of it. He's looking down on it. So within career, there's something 
where you you need to see it differently. There's some opportunity that is coming back around for you that I think you've missed and passed up several times before. There's some cycle you're in that you ugh, you keep getting in it. Two of Pentacles is like being caught up in the cycle. This is like thinking way too much. Look how tall his hat is. You're all up in your head about it. It's just too much. Um, we're, since we're talking about career, he's holding pentacles, right? Money, finances, pentacles. So you have a choice to make. Two of pentacles is two. Direction, choice, change, something different. This is um, getting off the karmic loop. This is karma here. Within career, there's something very karmic happening for you. Your karmic path, your, your career path is karmic. So um, probably you keep seeing the same issues kind of pop up again and again. You always feel like this is happening to you in some way within your career. There's something that you've been passing up and overlooking. Feels like you're in a new phase. You're about to go into a new phase. This is also divine timing. You've tried to pass bypass this divine timing. I want it now. Right? Why, hence why you get two hangmans. The three of wands shows a, a new beginning. He just finished a project. So he's, he's, he's going to now, he's going to, he's going to take some time and be grateful for what he's done. Um, kind of evaluate, um, the choices he's made job well done. He's going to rest. He's going to eat. He's going to shit and he's going to start all over again. So there's some new phase you're going to move into you have an opportunity but it feels like you keep or maybe a common pattern is that you get into these relationships within your career or these connections in your career that aren't very healthy okay so two of cups it's another two you have a two and a three yeah I'm sorry you have two twos and one three so very beginning, we're about to restart. So there's something that you do that's kind of unhealthy, these patterns that you got to break within career. And it could be with yourself. You could be battling yourself, you, these habits and these ways of being, okay? Followed by the hangman, okay? This is also about timing, divine timing. It's not going to be on your timetable. Let's pull an angel card. Pisces. Oh, sorry. Had to scratch it. Clairvoyance, Archangel Raziel, I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. Clairvoyance can be tapped into um, to help initiate it by like just paying homage even to like how you feel and kind of uh, being honest with how you feel and um, showing it respect and heeding the intuition of how you feel. Okay, that can help crack open some of that clairvoyance. I'm working on it right now as we speak. I'm like, ooh, why do I feel like that? And my, my logic says, why would you say that about somebody's... Why would you... That has nothing to do with that card, right? So I'm like, but that's how I feel. Ooh, Osset Temple. Somebody else got this recently. Sacred Ceremony. It's a number five. Five are the numbers of challenge and change. It does feel like within career, you're going through some changes and some possibly challenging times. My soul lives in this temple. My soul lives in this temple. In ancient days, the priestess of Osset 
anointed my statue with frankincense and myrrh, and invoked my spirit there, and cared for me on every level. Thus I could spread my blue healing light over the temple, then all of Egypt, so peace and healing were available to all. Perhaps you even remember being there. So this is a temple of healing, love, and peace. So perhaps some visualization is important to do, going within to your heart space, closing your eyes, feeling what's there, and being open and asking for the divine help of the angels, ancestors, uh, the Akashic Records, to help you find some peace of mind about this time in your life. Okay, so we're finished with lamp part. Let's check the bottom of the deck here. Woo! The, I almost said the emperor. This is the magician. So he is, he's got a, he's, his self-worth is through the roof. Okay, he's like, look, I'm going to take up this whole space. This whole frame is mine as above, so below. So this is about self-worth and having the resources um, available to us. Um, and really the resources, we all have the resources, but do we know we have the resources? Do we tap into the resources? The resources can literally be like, oh, let me call my contacts, you know, and, and see if anybody got a job for me. Or the resources could be, uh, oh my gosh, I can take an online meditation class. Like, I can get my Zen right here. Our resources can be, oh, my cousin, she knows that one person that could hook me up with this or that. Or our resources could be, wow, I'm really going to start a meditation practice to help me <sighs> tap into that peace of mind that I need so badly. I'm going to kind of read these cards different. use this mermaid tarot deck for you Pisces fitting water water signs let's start with three We've got a couple here. You've got a king and a queen, a queen and a king. Okay, queen of cups. So we're looking at, ooh, just deep emotional wisdom. Just deep emotional wisdom. Mastery of emotions. Knowing just without having to look at the picture, but just knowing and feeling, gosh, I know what I need. And if this doesn't feel like you, this is coming up because this is what they're wanting to invoke in you. To remind you of who you are. King of Wands is like deep understanding of like where I want to go in life. He like, look it, look it. He's like, mm-hmm, yes. Give me some of that energy. He's like, yes, I see, I see what I want. I'm going to get it. Okay. Seven of Pentacles is cultivating that which we would find fulfilling saving money, working hard, um, cultivating spiritual wealth and abundance, really knowing that we're worth taking up the time and the space in our own personal lives. Forget everybody else, but shit, what about you? Knowing that we're worth it to take up that space so that we can cultivate what we need. Check at the bottom of the deck. Is that the world? It sure is. This is the last card of the major arcana. So you guys are leaving a cycle and moving into a new one. So take advantage of it. Okay, Squ um, Pisces. I love you guys. Happy motherfucking November. Please like this video, subscribe, and share. All right, y'all.